let's simplify this third or we can say rationalize the denominator to solve this question step number one write down the given question that is the square root of 5 divide by the square root of 15 minus the square root of 10 step number two i will multiply this the numerator this is the square root of 15 and this is the square root of 10 at the denominator this is the square root of 15 and this is the square root of 10 next this is a minus i will change this to a plus and this to a plus this is step number two step number three we're going to multiply out these terms starting with the numerator remember we started working out this because we cannot break down the square root of 15 and we cannot break down the square root of 10 that is the square root of 15 if we break it down as 15 let's start with 2 2 cannot go into 15 without remainder let's go with 3 3 into 15 is 5 3 cannot go without remainder 4 cannot go but 5 into 5 is 1 you see 3 here got no pair and 5 here got no pair hence the square root of 15 remains a pure single radical likewise the square root of 10 if we want to break this further 2 into 10 is 5 2 cannot go without remainder 3 cannot go without remainder 4 cannot go without remainder but 5 into 5 is 1 you can see once we get 1 we stop 2 here got no pay and 5 here got no pay hence the square root of 10 remains a pure single sword next the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 15 we are going to have the square root of 5 multiplied by 15 next this is a plus the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 10 we're going to have 5 times 10 next at the denominator the square root of 15 multiplied by the square root of 15 will give us 15 multiplied by 15 inside the square root next the square root of 15 will multiply the square root of 10 this is plus the square root of 15 times 10 inside the square root next minus the square root of 10 will multiply the square root of 15 you're going to have minus and both will multiply inside the square root next minus times plus is minus the square root of 10 will multiply the square root of 10 and both will multiply inside the square root next 5 times 15 we give you 75 inside the square root and here we're going to have the square root of 50 divide by 15 times 15 inside a square root we give you the square root of 225 and the square root of 225 is 15 next 15 times 10 is 150 and 10 times 15 is 150 the square root of 150 we cancel minus the square root of 150 next we have a minus here 10 times 10 inside the square root will give you 100 and the square root of 100 will give you 10 for the complete video course on this subject click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section next we're going to simplify 
the square root of 75 and we're going to simplify the square root of 50. That is, instead of the square root of 75, I'm going to have 75 and I will start with 2. But 2 cannot go into 75 without a remainder. Next, I will consider 3. 3 into 7 is 2, remainder 1. And 3 into 15 is 5. 3 cannot go, 4 cannot go. But 5 will go into 25, 5. 5 can still go, 1. Once I get 1, I stop. Next, this 5 can pay. And this 5 is free. However, 3 is not free. We are going to put it inside the square root. The square root of 75 is 5 root 3. Next, instead of this square root of 75, I will have 5 root 3. Next, we have a plus here. Next, I will simplify the square root of 50. I will draw a line. This is 50. I will start with 2. 2 into 50 is 25. 2 cannot go. 3 cannot go. 4 cannot go. 5 into 25 is 5. 5 can still go. And 5 into 5 is 1. Once I get 1, I stop. Next, this 5 has a pair. And 5 is free. 2 has no pay. This will go into the root. The square root of 50 is 5 multiplied by the square root of 2. Instead of the square root of 50, I will write 5 multiplied by the square root of 2. Divide by. At the denominator, 15 minus 10 is 5. Next, 5 is common. We are going to factorize 5 out and here we are left with the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 in brackets. At the denominator we have 5. Next, this 5 we cancel this 5 and we are left with the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. This is like orange and this is like lemon. You can't add orange to lemon. This is a separate pure sword and this is also a different pure sword. Both cannot add. And this becomes our final answer. We have simplified this sword by eliminating all the radicals at the denominator by rationalization. If you carefully follow the steps, you can solve any given sword question. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.